appreciate a part of that. I was an American Indian with a young wife and an almost one-year-old child. I don't know what sex uh, my child was. I was 41 years old, but I look younger for my age. I live in a very peaceful village. My home is so peaceful as well. It was, it was not really a home by our standards. It's a warm field or simple house, if one may call it a house. Mm -hmm. And there's also there were also other villagers, but everything was so quiet. Mm -hmm. And we set out to about my death this time. We set out to the river on small boats. There were less than twenty of us, but I think I was alone on in my boat. I'm not sure if it was a ceremony of some sorts, but we just allowed ourselves to be drawn by the reverse current towards where the water fell down. It was like a waterfall, so high. I think I died at, um, on that fo fall. Others, many of them managed to survive, but I had a very peaceful death. And then, after that scene, um, I was just like floating, but the view from above was so hazy, but it's kind of a mountainous area. I've always been drawn to mountains. Mm -hmm. I was on top or maybe floating in the air, looking down, and then feelings of peace was everywhere. In my future life, I'm about this age, still the same face, <laughs> maybe a bit younger, but I had, I was kind of luminous. I was wearing a white robe, smiling, and my presence everywhere brings peace, something mm -hmm. like that. And my crystal at first, it was bluish, when I came back, it was greenish, a little greenish. I had two angel guides and mm -hmm. they were smiling. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. Well done.